This screencast is going to be a refresher into Google Forms. To make a new form in your drive, go to New, More, Google Form, and once you click that, you'll be taken to a new window. Google Forms had a major facelift about two months ago, so you're going to want to opt in to the new Google Forms. Do you see this purple band up here that says Try the new Google Forms? Click that. The new Google Forms is a much more polished look. I think you're really going to like it. You'll title your form. You may title it your business name. So I'm going to make up a business here, Patty's Pancakes. For your form description, this is optional. You could give your customer, potential customer, some more directions here, but you don't have to do that. Down here is my first question. It, it defaults to a multiple choice type question, um, but you can change that type by clicking this arrow and you see you have all of these choices here. In the slides presentation, I will give you what each of these types of questions um, look like. Let's start off with a short answer just asking our potential quest uh, customer's name. That's all you need. You can make your questions required by flipping this toggle on. If you get a question you don't like, you can trash it here. If you want to duplicate a question, you can do that here. When you're ready to add another question, you go to this plus sign. I'll make this question a multiple choice. What type of toppings do you like on your pancakes? And actually, I just changed my mind. I'm going to make this a checkbox question because that way they can choose more than one. You have more options down here. I can add a hint text and I'm going to say that you can choose more than one. And then here I'll start filling in my toppings. Strawberries, bananas, whipped cream, and I can keep going. On multiple choice and check boxes, if I click this add other, it would give them a chance uh, or the opportunity to write in their own answer. And you would keep going along. This allows you to um, edit the title and description of your form, like at different sections. Don't do that today. That's a little more advanced. We don't want to do that. If you would ever need to add an image, you could do so by clicking this. Um, a YouTube video that doesn't really apply to what we're doing today. And like I said, this is a place to add a section in our form. We're not going to do that. That's for really long forms that take you to multiple screens. The last thing I want to show you is, of course, you guys love color. To change the color of your form, you can click this color palette um, and change the colors. If you want an image, go to the image icon. They have tons of images to choose from here. You can upload your own photo, but I'll warn you, it's hard to get a good photo that looks good. Even if you think you found one that's the right shape, they tend to snap it in kind of weird. Um, so if you're gonna go with a photo, I would suggest finding one up here or going with the plain one. This eyeball lets you preview it to see what your users would see. So it doesn't have all those editing options and you can just see what they will see. I'm going to go back here and title my four patties, pancakes, and I'm just going to add the word form to the end. Um, if you want to collaborate on a form, sometimes it's a little bit tricky. But anyways, up here on this, these three dots, you can add collaborators and have different people in your group um, share and work on this form at the same time. That's it.